All right, so for the last section, I'm just gonna give you some other options of using, um, of different te techniques that you could use with your alcohol inks and gel press. Um, these are not ones that I did in any of the sample cards. However, I just wanted to show you them as they are an option. So right here, I've got some white Dilutions ink spray. I'm just going to splatter it on the dried up al alcohol ink. Now I did try this with some wet alcohol ink and it kind of just made clumps. So it didn't really work as I thought it was gonna work. Now this one here is some pumice bone Pumice stone, pumice stone distress spray. I'm just going to spray it in a couple spots. Now, what this is going to do, it's not going to um, change the alcohol ink because this is a dye. Alcohol ink is alcohol, and they don't really mix. But what it is going to do is those sprays are going to absorb in the paper instead of the alcohol inks. And I just realized I did this wrong. All right, we'll try this again. What I need to do first is put the paint on. So what, as I was saying, what is going to happen with this is um, these sprays are gonna absorb into the paper, so the paper isn't gonna resist the paint and therefore the alcohol ink. So it's just a different way of getting a different looking background. Funny. Sometimes you can think of something so much in your head and then all of a sudden you're trying it and you're doing it wrong. All right, so I'm going to spray. That was the pumice stone, pumice stone distress spray. I'm going to just do a little bit of splatters with the white. And what I was saying, what's going to happen with these is the sprays are going to absorb the paper into the paper. Oops, try not to do that. And then it's going to resist the paint and the alcohol ink that is above it. So this here is a mica spray. So it's gonna have a bit of a shimmer effect. All right. And right away, you can see that liquid coming through the paper. And that is supposed to happen. And again, you can do it with whatever sprays you're wanting. I've done it with, years ago there was um, um, tattered, floral tattered, Glimmer Mist. Um, so I've done it with these shimmer sprays as well. Those I believe are all discontinued. So I did it with mica sprays just because you get the similar look, but buy it with a product that is actually available. So see how it gives it a little bit of a different look. You get that um, distress spray through it because that is absorbed into the paper and the paint that was underneath it is left on the plate. Same with here. You get the paint that was left on the plate and then there's some of the white and I'm not sure if it's actually visible to the camera but there is that shimmer on there in those areas where I sprayed the mica spray. So just something different that you can do get a little bit more texture play around with. You could do that with a stencil coming through but just an idea that I wanted you to know and be aware of. So I'm going to leave that stuff that's on there it's going to affect the next print, but that's okay. The next print, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some different colored acrylic inks and add a bit of distress, or sorry, add a bit of texture to the background behind the alcohol inks before doing our print pulling alcohol, or print pulling, I shouldn't do two things at one time and talk, um, before we pull our print. So this is just another way to get a little bit more texture in the background behind the alcohol inks because it's going to be showing through. All right, so that needs to completely dry and I'll see you in a bit and we'll add some texture. All right, the alcohol ink has dried, so let's add a little bit of texture to the background. So I'm just going to use some gold metallic and then I'm just using some um, berry wine. Just I wanted to choose colors that complemented the background there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a smaller brayer just brayer it on my surface get a thinner amount and then I'm dipping 
This is just found object. This is just a piece of cardboard. You can use whatever you want. And I'm just getting a little bit of that texture on there. You could use stamps, you could use a stencil. And because these inks are transparent, we're gonna be able to see this texture through. Actually, I'm gonna do the next one in like a burgundy. And I've never used this color before, so I need to open it up just a second. All right, we got our paint open. So like I was saying, we're just adding some color behind. And because the alcohol inks are transparent, you're gonna be able to see this through the alcohol. So some bigger bubble wrap. And once again, I didn't use these for the cards simply because they're gonna be quite, um, quite busy in the background for my liking. Now I need to let that acrylic paint dry completely and then we will brayer the um, vintage white on and pull the print. All right, the acrylic paint is completely dried and it dries faster than the alcohol ink. Acrylic paint dries super quick. So let's pull the print. Just like before, rubbing it really, really well, making sure that it's got some good contact with the surface so that everything gets pulled up. See how just adding that print behind there added some extra texture to it? Once again, I tend to not to use too busy a prints when I'm making cards, but for say art journals, for mixed media, you could use this as a print in a collage or whatnot. Just another thing that you can use with your alcohol inks with your jelly prints to have fun with so we'll see you in the next section i'm going to just show you how to clean off your plate and how to take care of it if you find that it's getting dried out we'll see you there